We all have things that make us different. It could be the color of your skin or the God that you pray to. In a book by New York photographer Scott Passfield, there is a rainbow of different characters. There's a cowboy slash hairdresser from Arizona, an architect living in sunny West Palm Beach, a decorated soldier from Massachusetts. Their fathers, brothers, sons, and neighbors from all across the United States. The single thread that connects this diverse group of men is the fact that they are gay. Feeling normal about yourself, and which we all are, you know, and that's the whole point of this. We are around each other pretty much 24 seven and have been for the last 16 years. My name is Alex Walker. I live in Seward, Alaska and I'm gay man. Even as a successful commercial photographer, Scott has been searching for years for a personal photography project to pursue on his own. You know, I had a portfolio filled with celebrities, but it really wasn't me anymore. You know, I think when people are looking for an idea, for a concept, for a project, the first advice that anybody will give you is to shoot your, your world, what you're about, you know? And for me, that was gay men. Wonderful town, two gay men living here in the middle of nowhere. The book that would become Gay in America was entirely funded by Scott himself. For three years, he took countless road trips exploring our country and the men in it. For, for a lot of things that I have and finding this, this location. Scott recently visited Columbus to share stories from the book. One of those stories is about the brother of Columbus native, Lynn Stecklin. Lynn's brother, Martin, and his partner, Peter, are featured in Scott's book. Their story is one of sacrifice and commitment. Due to Martin's hepatitis C, his liver was failing. And without hesitation, his partner was a living donor for his first liver transplant five years ago. You know, when I open this book, you know what I want to do? Mm -hmm. I want to just touch him. I mean, that's just what I want to do. I just want to, I just want to touch him. I just want to hold him and say, you're okay. You're going to be okay. I love my brother no differently than I would if he were married and had three kids. It truly means nothing to me that he's gay. You know, anything that's different is not always easy to accept. And if you haven't had any association or knowledge or relationships uh, with gay people, you don't know what to do with it in general then just consider it being your own child. Where, where do you go with that? What do you do with it? Do you tell your best friend? Probably not. Tell your coworkers? Probably not. Somebody at church? Doubt it. You know, so it's, it's as much for adult education as it is for adolescent and young people's awareness in a book that says, it's okay. You're okay. You know, take a look here, look at all these people. From every state in the United States, they're okay. And you are too. You know, I made this book for kids. Well, I wish that this book existed when I was a kid, first and foremost, to know that you could go anywhere and do anything and be anyone you want as a gay man. While the stories and photographs are in a book titled Gay in America, you don't have to be gay to appreciate stories that are truly about the human condition. One story that is still unfolding is Scott's. I was able to, you know, heal as a gay man myself in many uh, ways through this project and searching and finding uh, wisdom from men all over the country. In it, I learned that you know I'm, uh, you know, I'm okay and that I, it's okay to be gay. Finally, I had to admit to myself that it wasn't going to go away. I saw your ad and I thought, you know, this is maybe some little opportunity to make a difference. Thank you.